back with Osprey Games. This time I have received Hard City um, by Nathan Russell, which is, well, it's a noir role-playing game. Noir is a genre that's a little bit difficult to do. In fact, there aren't really that many games, noir games out there, because it's such a specific genre that unless you do it very, very well, it's very hard to make it work. I haven't read this book yet. I have received it just a few days ago, so I'm literally going to open it on camera now to take a look at what the production value is and what this book is like inside. Welcome to the GMS Magazine RPG and Booking videos. Hard City is an A5, which is the kind of the standard, uh, you know, format that uh, Osprey Games has been releasing. Like, you know, the last time I did this, uh, Travelers of the War Road is exactly the same size, which is very nice. It's a, it's a format that I really, really like. So there you go. And it's a hardback, as always. And even though this is monochrome, the book is full color. If we take a look at the back, it's beautiful illustration that uh, the, the, the reason I like this illustration so much is because it really embodies the uh, cliché of the femme fatale so nicely. You know, this, this dangerous woman who is daring enough to be wearing whatever she bloody hell wants and looks at you over the shoulder with a gun in her hand, being more than willing and able to blow your brains off if you cross her. I really, really like these kind of illustrations. But also the whole graphic design has been very well thought out, which is very, very good indeed. Whereas here in the cover, we get a completely different illustration that tells the story in and on itself, which is exactly what a cover should do. There is, even if you don't look at the title, you already know what you're going to find inside this book. It is very clear one and we take that away as well but that illustration alone is incredibly descriptive so that's lovely very nice very simplistic graph love the the layout of this graphic design is just amazing i don't know who the artist is unfortunately it would be great to know and now we get a slightly wow even more than usually detailed table of content, which is good. Okay, so welcome to the city. Noir, okay, very good, starting with the mood, which is not an easy thing to achieve unless you know exactly what you're going for, where to get inspiration, very good. Then the basic one you need, how you do it, characters, trademarks, edge, edges, flows, good, good, tribes, good, good, ties, good, moxie, I don't know what that is, we'll take a look, great, okay, nice, belongings, start to bounce, okay, good, good, getting into trouble, checks, consequences, condition, injuries, moxie, hidden mean streets, classes, cases, and scenes, oh, oh, just one page, um, downtime, rest in the cover of the city, a little history, okay, we get the city, uh, not at the beginning, and then we get a little bit more about uh, cases, generators etc etc which is nice and then game mastering advice page 1172 page 124 okay not bad at all uh, i like the the style of osprey is being very consistent in the way that they start with a uh, big powerful illustration when you get into the book which is great i think that's a formula that works very nicely as a formula that separation between paragraphs is not enough but that is fine because you know i know that i am a bit special like that but i, I do like that there is an awful lot of separation between um, uh, subjects and, and topics which is good yeah he looks pretty, oh, but he's a cop. So of course he looks upset. Um, I can't even imagine what it must be to be a cop in that time. It must be amazing though. you being able to do whatever you want and getting away with anything I would like to do. Uh, so characters love this illustration, it's so good. It is so, so good. The layout, as you can see, is very simple. I like these tables, very easy to read, which is very good. 
loads of them, those are threats. Those are very nice. So that's it, this is the book. I mean, there isn't anything wrong with it at all. Yeah, I do wish there was a little bit more separation between the paragraphs, but the game itself, the illustrations is just amazing. Everything seems to be in the right length. I like the idea of the campaign frames. And I love how, ooh, look at this. This, okay, I'm sold now. And this is what makes me want to really read this book. Because the fact that it's helping you plan the perfect crime, I don't know if there's going to be an adventure sometimes, more often than not. Uh, Ospreys don't have adventures at the end. Okay. This is an adventure. Good. This looks like, oh my God, I am so very happy indeed. It has an adventure, which is great. It doesn't have to be long. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. This is just a few pages of adventure that you can prepare in next to no time and make sure that you have something to show your friends immediately to decide if you like the game or not. Now that's how you do it. This actually has got me very excited for something that, to be perfectly honest, more often than not, it's not in general I am interested in. But this, that's how you do it. So this is going to cost you 17.99 British pounds or 25 of those American dollars or 33 of those Canadian dollars. I think this is going to be very well worth it. I will let you know as soon as I do the full review of the book itself. Right now, just the way it is, it's done a very, very good job of selling itself to me. And I hope to you too. I'll talk to you very soon. Take care. Noir. Mm. I don't know why I did that. That's probably the most haphazard introduction to a game I have ever done. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to try again and then you choose which one of the two, two you want to get. So that will be four, two, you want to use. Okay? Creative license. <laughs>